Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everybody. We've got a fun episode today about my favorite Christmas stories. So it should be a pretty short one, but stick with us after the jump and we'll get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back. We've got some fun stuff going on today. Um, I wanted to get an episode out about my favorite Christmas books and uh, talk about the favorite stories so that you guys have a little bit of a chance to read it. Um, this list is also on my website. Uh, that link will be in the bio or description for this episode. So check it out. Uh, feel free to take a look. Uh, there are some spectacular stories in this and ones that always put me in the Christmas spirit. So let me know what you guys think. And if I missed one of your favorites, let me know in the comments. I'm always open for another Christmas read. So first one is going to be a little bit different. It's not your stereotypical Christmas story. Actually, the first two are. Um, they're some of my favorite stories um, with a Christmas twist. Um, the first one is called Silent Night. Uh, it is about the story of the Bella Wood during World War I. Um, and it is a fantastic story. Um, that is one of my favorite stories of humankind of all time. Um, or maybe not entirely humankind, but um, it's one of my favorite military stories for sure. Um, it's something that I eventually want to try and find a way to work into a sci-fi story or a fantasy story, but as of right now, I haven't had a chance yet, but please check it out. Um, it, it's actually a book that I don't know if it inspired the Garth Brooks song or if the Garth Brooks song is just inspired by the original story as well. Um, but please, please check it out. It is fantastic. I highly recommend it. Um, it is a great, great read. Um, the next one, also a little bit off the wall. Um, if you like the Doctor Who Christmas specials, this is up your alley. Uh, it is Sherlock Holmes and the Christmas Demon. Um, pretty typical Sherlock Holmes story, but very, very Christmas oriented. Uh, it's one of my favorites to read. I read it back in 2019. Um, and I, I'm a sucker for anything Sherlock. So I absolutely recommend it. Um, it's a just a great, fun story. Um, for me, I always start with those two, and then I ease more into the traditional Christmas stories as I get closer. Um, the next one is a pretty obvious one. I'm pretty sure everyone has either seen or read some version of it. That's A Christmas Carol. Amazing story by Charles Dickens. Absolutely a staple of Christmas stories, um, and definitely something that... I, I deeply recommend everyone read. Um, so next is another fairly obvious one, um, especially for people in my generation. That's How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. Fantastic story. Great introduction to Christmas. Uh, it's a movie with Jim Carrey that I love and is a, a staple in my family um, and is one that is almost a requirement for Christmas for me. Um, it's not my Christmas Eve movie, but it is definitely a Christmas movie and a Christmas story. So if you have small children, get the book. It's worth it. Um, if not, check it out. And I deeply, deeply recommend it as well. So next... And my number one Christmas story of all time is one that has a deep place for me. It's very touching and very Christmas oriented. Um, and that is Letters from Father Christmas by Tolkien. Such a good story. Well, stories. Um, it's a bunch of letters and things like that that Tolkien used. Um, some of them he wrote for his kids. Some of them he helped write for underprivileged youth. Some he just formed into a story to make it all coherent. Um, and it's super short read, super fast. It is fantastic. It's an absolute recommendation for me. Um, 
And yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything for it because uh, it is super short. So talking any, any detail about it is definitely going to spoil stuff. Um, especially where it's Tolkien. But absolutely read it. I definitely recommend it. Um, if you click the link down below to my to the blog article about it, I actually have all the books linked in there as well. So you can order them. Um, and those are linked in there purely so for ease of access. I am not making anything off of this um, recommendation-wise. So please check them out. All of these are some of my favorites and absolutely recommend them. On top of that, I may or may not be working on releasing a short story of my own um, to be put out for Christmas. Um, I'm hoping to have that out by the time this comes out. So we'll see. Um, hope you guys check it out. Uh, check my story out too. Um, I went the sci-fi route, which is not one of my recommendations because honestly, the only time I've ever seen Christmas and sci-fi together is the Doctor Who Christmas special. Um, so I absolutely recommend it. Absolutely hope that you guys check out my story as well. Uh, that will also be linked on this page. So yeah, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. And Please have happy holidays, whether it's Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or any other holiday this season. I hope you have a great one. Mm -hmm.